Hey, you want to be a farmer? Here's a couple of acres. Decker, the next one I'll hurt. Hey, what's going on guys? CHH here today. So, I'm going to do my Van Damme and Schwarzenegger uh, Laserdisc collection. The, this thing is, I was shocked at how little Schwarzenegger Laserdiscs I had. The three that I have are wicked cool. But I thought I had more. I guess it was one of those things where I just imagined it. I've got to remedy that soon because it's criminal not to have a good bit of Arnie Laserdiscs. Uh, so let's do him last because he is probably the king of action in the average person's mind. But my my Van Damme laser discs are out of this world. So let's let's go through this, and I'll give brief words about each movie because there's so many great titles that I would love some of you guys to check out. Maybe if you haven't, let's start of course with his swan song. This is Bloodsport. Um, now Bloodsport is the quintessential '80s action, like just kung fu movie uh you know i won't say that van damme was like the successor to bruce lee because there really is never going to be another one but like at the time people really thought that this is was going to be the guy and van damme ended up really becoming like a big movie action star with bombs and explosions and over the top stuff instead of just kung fu movies but this movie is the, the real deal now people say Bloodsport is the best film from him and i think Part of that is because of the total package. The music by Stan Bush in here is so emotional and so good. It's it's unbelievable. The soundtrack is out of this world. And uh, Bloodsport is literally one of the greatest um, karate movies ever made. Uh, this is Canon Pictures, too. And they just got it done. I mean, this movie is the real deal. So, Bloodsport. If you haven't seen it, guys, that's a absolute top-tier Van Damme recommend for me. Uh, next, we got to talk about Cyborg, and I'm using like a boom mic on this, an extension boom mic. So hopefully the audio is good, guys. Just experimenting today. Cyborg, this is again Canon Pictures. This is Jean Claude Van Damme. Uh, I reviewed this movie on Blu-ray. Uh, Screen Factory put this out. Obviously, this laser disc is cooler because of how big the and awesome the artwork looks. But um, yeah, so uh, Cyborg is is again top tier Jean Claude Van Damme. Uh, it's post apocalyptic. He's trying to get this android down to I think Atlanta because they have doctors there who can help and get people safe that uh, are trying to fight this virus a little reminiscent of times like now great action check it out uh, nowhere to run I, 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 I honestly wish I could comment more on this one but I haven't seen this one in a very long time I think this was 95 96 uh, let's see I'm not seeing a year but um, I, I remember liking Nowhere to Run, but I don't remember it being a title you need to go out of your way to see immediately. So I can't comment on this one too much right now, so I apologize. But this is Nowhere to Run. So. Oh, yes, man. Okay, so this is a top tier Van Damme recommend for me. This is like a horror film. Van Damme's Death Warrant. So Death Warrant is, uh, there is basically a, a monstrous demon drug lord called the Sandman who is freaking terrifying looking he looks like a monstrous skeleton man and Van Damme thinks he kills him and so all of a sudden there's bodies dropping left and right in prison and so Van Damme goes undercover as an inmate to find out what's going on and this movie is creepy there's a guy in the lower like bunkers of the jailhouse that Van Damme needs to go talk to to get some inside scoop information that you got to pay for. And it's like this guy with like these freaky looking snake eyes. This is like a horror action film. I'm not even kidding. Death Warrant is literally top five Van Damme movies to me. If you haven't seen Death Warrant, it literally is so good. It's so freaking good. I can't recommend this one enough. This one is amazing. It, this is like a horror film. I swear to God, there is some freaky killers in there and uh ooh, that snake dude all right this is quite possibly i think his best film he ever did uh besides blood sport this is time cop so this was like van damme's 
absolute peak height of his career. During this time in Time Cup, Van Dam was uh, whipping everybody's ass at the box office. Everybody's ass. Uh, you know, I don't remember what True Lies did. I mean, maybe, maybe True Lies made more money, but like at the time, Van Dam. This was like the time where people were like, "He's he's number one right now." I remember uh, watching this like DVD about action films in the '90s, and they're talking about how big Time Cop was. It was massive. So this movie is so good. If you haven't seen Time Cop, let me take this out of this sleeve. Maybe it'll be less blurry. So Time Cop is literally a like time travel movie. It's like so this doctor invents time travel, legitimately invents time travel. So what happens is there's a police force that needs to be added because the time police, as it were, or I don't know if that's exactly what they call them, but they, they police time. Because once time travel is invented, the whole thing is going to be people trying to go back in time to uh, profit, make money, do things that they shouldn't be doing, that kind of stuff. So um, Van Damme has to stop this guy who's trying to become president, who is just breaking every rule there is, getting money for his campaigns. It's great. It is amazing. Time Cop is literally top, top, top tier Van Damme. I can't put it over enough. And the girlfriend from Ferris Bueller's Day Off is in here. All right, next is Lionheart. This is, again, top tier Van Damme. So Leon is a soldier that flees his army base because his brother died and he wants to go take care of his wife and her kid. And um, so Leon is his name. He makes his way to America and he has to make money to support the wife and kid because they're going to be out on their butts because the, they have no insurance plan. They have nothing. The husband left them with, with nothing, unfortunately. And so he starts fighting, street fighting in these, like, these underground sanctioned fights. And he gets really, he's really good. And so then the people that run the organization want to make him like the lead boy and you know their, their pet that they can use to make money all the time because they know he'll win. They'll set him up with easy fights, that kind of thing it seems like. But then they decide to screw him and make him fight Tung Po, this monstrous guy. And they all bet that Van Damme's going to lose. Obviously, I won't spoil it. But uh, this one is, like, just great. So great. This is 90s action at its top peak. Uh, Lionheart is the real deal. I love it so much. Sorry about the dog walking around. All right, Street Fighter. I mean, I don't need to say too much about Street Fighter. Uh, I love this movie. It's such a train wreck behind the scenes that it, I can't believe it even got made. So the story goes that Van Damme was doing about $10,000 worth of blow a week on set, which just sounds insane, right? $10,000 a blow a week? Uh, but honestly, Raul Julia, who I believe was also in uh, the Adams Family movies, he is the greatest thing about this movie. He is so funny. It's not even. It's not even funny. Uh, one of my favorite lines is when he's talking about Bisonopolis, when he's taken over the world, and he's in charge of everything now, and he's he's looking at this model of Bisonopolis, this massive mall and stuff in his new world. He goes, "We'll want to make the food courts bigger because all the big franchises will want it." Like it's so funny, and it almost makes me wonder. Just let him be in charge. Maybe he won't be that bad. But then he has like some of the coldest lines ever. So there's a part where Chun Li is captive to Bison. And Chun Li's talking about how I'll never forget the day the Bison Army ran through my father's village and you know just took over everything, killed everybody. And she's giving this massive speech about how she was vowed revenge to fight him one day and get after him. Bison looks at her and says, "You know, the day that Bison's army graced your family's village was the most important day of your life, but for me, it was Tuesday." That is the coldest line ever, and uh, man, it's awesome. Uh, Raul was suffering from cancer at this point, and um, he went out with a bang. I think he did this movie for his kids, but he's great in it, so awesome. Uh, I can't talk about this one too much because it's been years since I've seen it, Mac, uh, Maximum Risk. This was the start of his Columbia Picture run. I think he just got done with Universal. The Quest didn't do too great, which is actually a great movie. Didn't do too great, and uh, Universal just decided not to re-up Van Damme's contract, so then he started doing movies with uh, Columbia. This movie was good, though. I remember that. I just remember liking it. Okay, so this is like the uh, hometown movie for me. Jean-Claude Van Damme's Hard Target. Uh, the, the villain in this is Lance Henriksen, so, I mean, I should just stop right now because what else do I need to say? But Lance Henriksen is the villain in here. The Hard Target takes place in New Orleans. This movie is amazing. This movie is quite simply amazing. I love it so much. Uh, Lance Hendrickson is so good in this movie as the villain, and uh, I don't want to spoil too much. If you haven't seen Hard Target, please go out of your way. 
it is the real freaking deal. This is also a mullet Van Dam, and he bites the rattles off of a rattlesnake. So unfortunately, my laser disc collection for, for uh, Arnold is short. I could have swore I had Commando. I guess I don't, but I do have Predator. Uh, I mean, God almighty. What do I say about Predator, man? This, uh, I'm going to do a top five. I'm going to try to reserve it because I want to do a top five Arnold Schwarzenegger action flicks. Uh, and then maybe do some of his other stuff, like comedy stuff. But, I mean, Predator, I'm, I'm going to reserve judgment because judgment, I don't want to spoil my thoughts on these. But Predator, man. Look at that. That is beautiful. Dylan, you son of a bitch. Okay, I've talked about this. Last Action Hero. What else could I possibly say about Last Action Hero? I mean, this movie, I just adore it. Everything about it, and I'll talk more about it. It will be in my top five, put it to you like that. Uh, one of the most amazing films I've ever seen. Ever seen. Ever seen. Ever seen. Ever seen. Have I made my point? And if you haven't seen this movie, uh, I, I just I'm, I'm so upset for you because you're living in existence without Last Action Hero. That's how good I think this movie is, and uh, it's 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 certainly got its fan base now. Certainly got a fan base now, but this movie got a little bit buried because it came out against uh, Jurassic Park at the time, which Arnold has talked about. I'll put that up later. Which Arnold has talked about. The movie went on to be very successful. Uh, it made money in the box office, but also became very successful on home video, obviously. The soundtrack is amazing. ACDC, Alice in Change, Tesla, Megadeth. My God. Last but certainly not least, Terminator 2 on Laserdisc. Uh, there were many incarnations of Terminator 2 on Laserdisc, as you can imagine. Some were very expensive. Some are super-duper collectible. I have just the... Uh, regular release but that you gotta remember the regular release was still widescreen um digital audio like it, the regular the regular release is still great and i really like the artwork i just wanted this one because of the artwork too because i just love that it's the the poster art i mean how, look how beautiful that is terminator 2 judgment day let's open up the gatefold and have a look at the pictures um as you can see we got scene indexes and just art from the movie um, the real deal. The absolute real deal. Um, again, I'll have to reserve judgment on Terminator 2. Um, so, I'll have to reserve judgment. But, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, so, I wanted to do a couple things. So, I wanted to do like ranking... I'd call it ranking the Jaws films, but really what I wanted to do was just rank, talk about the Jaws films and show my Laserdisc collection because I have some really nice Jaws laser discs. And ranking them would be a little bit silly, but I guess I still could. But I wanted to do a video where I showed my Jaws laser discs and just talked about them a little bit in a sense. So maybe I'll do that soon. I also want to do a series that I had in mind that was going to be called Five Movies I've Never Talked About That I Love which is another way for me to express my feelings on certain films that, um, because they're not hardcore horror films, I just never feel the need or the compunction to talk about. But now that I've opened the doors a little bit, I'd love to talk about that. So if that's something you guys are interested in, please let me know. Uh, but thank you for watching this video. See you next time.